Don't you have a matching tape with loops? Do you need a tape with loops of a different size? Do you need a tape of a certain color that you can't find in the store? Or do you have no time to search for it at all? Now I will show you how you can make such a tape quickly and simply. You will need fabric of the desired color for a tape. You cut a strip of a necessary length on the straight line. Lengthwise grain or crosswise grain. The width of the strip is 5 centimeters. Next, you will need a pantograph to mark the position of the loops or a ruler. Loops of the required size. A device for making a 2 millimeter wide bias tape. And, of course, an iron. I put the tape in the device. I remind you that the tape is cut on the straight line. I make a 2.5 centimeter wide tape very carefully with the help of an iron. Now we need to iron this tape in half. I cut off the unnecessary end and mark the length of the tape. I leave 2 cm of the auxiliary tip just in case. And 1 cm to the first loop. The loops will be located on a 20 cm segment. I leave again 1 cm from the last loop to the edge and 2 auxiliary centimeters. I fold in half and cut the second tape of the same length. We start to make the loops from the opposite side of the fold. I put the second tape symmetrically, move the pantograph apart and see what distance between the loops suits me and how many loops I want to sew. I circled the dashes with bolder lines, put the second tape on top, and transferred the chalk lines to the second strip by tapping or padding. I insert the loops into the marked places on the tape and attach with hand stitches. Is it difficult to hold a loop and position on a narrow tape correctly? I will show you one convenient technique. I place the tape on a soft surface. I place a loop on its place and get two pins. I pierce one pin into one eye and the second pin is inserted into the second eye. I lift the tape. The pins hold the hook in a correct position. Now I use hand stitches to reach the place of sewing, so as not to break the thread after each loop and not to have too many knots. I insert the needle into the place I need and fix the loop in its place. I make three to four stitches and move on to the next eye. Now I repeat this operation again. I get to the next marking with hand stitches, place a new loop, insert two pins, and continue to work. If you use synthetic materials for the tape, you can burn its edges with a lighter.